we sound? Do you need a little yellow leather, red leather, red leather, yellow leather? It's it rusty. Red leather, leather yellow too. leather, red leather, yellow leather. He's like, whatever, just roll. Welcome everyone to Walking After Whiskey. That's with my line, thanks. <laughs> It's been a minute, but that's still my line. I know. Uh -huh. Are you okay? If Can I we say start it, again? If I say it, I know you'll do it. All right. Welcome, everyone, to Walking After Whiskey. I'm Shorty. And I'm Travis. Uh, we're going to break down your latest episode of The Walking Dead tonight. We're also going to break down uh, some pretty low shelf whiskey. Thanks, Travis. Well, Shorty's short anyway, so it's just it's just low. I don't even know. It's so low, I don't even know if I would have found it on we're, the shelf. We're not, doing whiskey, we're not doing whiskey right now. We're just doing... We're just doing but it's my line. Okay. And it's been a while. So I have to go with what I remember. Because I'm not going to remember the season or the episode. Mm -mm. So how about you do that part? Breaking down. Season 11, <laughs> episode 9, entitled, No Other Way. I was, was going to say No Way Out, but that wasn't an idiot. Just, just, like, just, <laughs> just like our back and forth, there's just no other way. We are smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, baby. All right. So we're a little rusty. Too bad. <laughs> So the episode starts out, it's a continuation from last season. We, we know season 11 will be three parts. So this is the middle, there's a big cliffhanger. Um, we've seen Gracie and, um, Ju and Judith where we're in a basement getting flooded out. Um, we, our friends were already at, at the um, at Meridian. <laughs> I feel if I were Judith, I would have just pushed Gracie in because yeah, I mean, it's her fault that they were there. You don't got to be fast, it's faster than Exactly. Her. And yeah, we, we know sure we know the zombies are all over Alexandria. We know that the Commonwealth is coming, and we also know that. Um, uh, and there's an atmospheric river, so there's that. <laughs> the <laughs> equivalent there is. to the atmospheric river in California. And we also there's know that that, um, that Daryl and the group of all like the, the best hunters in the group had went to go to the Meridian to take back the food that was stolen from Maggie and her group. Right, uh, not turning out so well. <laughs> For any of these groups, not really. turning out so well at all. So they okay. So we're trying to make this one quick. So I'm trying not to go backwards. Um, in the end. Andrew rescues Andrew. 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 What? Jesus. Aaron. Aaron. Andrew. I'm like, I know Andrew's not right. Aaron mm. rescues Gracie mm. and Judith. Mm. Um, they awesome send kills. people like, you know, fix the tower, fix the bridge or break or uh, what is that called when you do that? Once with Windmill. the Brit No, when you fix the Brit that mm. The gap in the holes and the gap yeah. in the fence. What is that called? They call it something. Oh my God. I'm trying to make this quick and I can't remember any of the words. Jeez Louise. When you repair gaps in the fence. <sighs> Bending Karen fences. Paul should like really edit this out. Uh, anyway, so everyone has their own job and then we cut to like their most important stuff, which actually what's going on in Meridian, which mm -hmm. is the most exciting thing of the show for me. So mm -hmm. what was your favorite part of uh, the whole Meridian thing? My absolute favorite part of the Meridian thing was uh, Father Gabriel. Talking to um, talking to um, th their their pastor over it's there. Preacher on preacher. Yeah, Mer Mer Mercy or Mer Merkai, whatever his name is. I don't know. Um, and basically, this guy still talking to God. Well, um, this guy still talks to God, right? And he's sitting there actually uh, praying over his friends right now. They're in a massive battle. Um, they're in a massive battle right now uh, for against their own his group, right? And so uh, Gabriel walks in and he's trying to go to the to the roof where the guy has a, like a sniper rifle. And he has this interaction, this interaction with, with, with other preacher who was still can hear God. And Gabriel gets into his ear like, you, you can it, still hear him? It was a Jesus mind fuck. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like, um, that's what I actually wrote down. Like, it was a Jesus mind fuck. But it was good. The guy actually let Gabriel go. Gabriel had no idea. He was yes. like, oh, my God, you actually saw me? Yeah, I know that your ass go. Gabriel said, no, this is, so I, we, Travis and I were talking this, I actually, cause I don't like Gabriel. I think mm. I've made it pretty clear on the show. Mm. I don't like Gabriel. I haven't liked his character, like the wishy-washy, blah, blah, blah. Mm. This episode like made me a fan. Like sure. I was a super big fan of Gabriel from, from that to him getting on the rooftop to, you know, the ending of the episode was a huge fan. You gotta remember too, it's like, so he, Gabriel has, you know, he, he, he turned himself on his flock back in the, when he had, used to have, you know, his, his own little church and he basically locked them all out and they all died because he kind of locked, locked himself in the church. And so he basically tells the guy, he's like, my flock is worth saving. How can you preach over these people when they do so much horrible things? And he goes, yeah, everybody's worth saving. And Gabriel's like, no, don't fucking, do not be that man. I don't need, and he just had any any reason to, to kill you. And he doesn't, he doesn't even give him one. And Gabriel's like, you know what, fuck it. Like I'm, I, I'm doing everything I can for my flock. Lock, fuck you and just like guts him I with a big old He was gonna kill him anyway. Like, I feel like he was gonna kill him anyway, yeah. even before he decided to mind fucking with Jesus. Uh, my favorite part was actually 
Negan and the Bell. Like, um, for who the Bell? So I don't know Broken Leg Dude's name. I don't remember his name. We actually tried looking him up. I don't remember. <laughs> I know. Broken Leg Dude, um, Maggie and Negan oh. uh, get into an altercation with Carver yeah. and get the shit beat yeah. out of themselves. That hallway is fucking nuts. That, yeah. Like the whole breaking that leg thing. That was <sighs> not nice. That was mm. not I. Mm. No, yeah. uh, but so my favorite thing is in fabulous Negan fashion was the whole, well, ding, ding. Like uh, <laughs> he, like it was back to him being him. Mm -hmm. He saves the day. Yep. And I actually felt like at that point in time, I don't know you always say like, oh, at some point Maggie and Negan are going to make out or whatever. Yeah. But at that point, I really thought that there was going to be some type of a truce. And obviously sure. that didn't happen. She got her ass beat. She was getting choked. She was getting choked out. Like they're like her, saying her last words to herself and yeah. Negan comes in and. And with, with, with bell in hand, and we we actually just we just kind of see that um, that there's like a as as Maggie went the stairway to go find the food uh, or, or sorry some help for that guy's leg, she <laughs> sees that you see that on the wall it says you know in case of fire I ring bell. I'm like this fucking fire outside, I'm ringing this fucking bell. But it was also you, you think he had some sand in his hand. So obviously they, they, they were they were above themselves enough to like hey the fire's you got some sand filled in the fire because they don't have extinguishers probably anymore. This is probably all done. So they have that and you have the bell to alert people else to go there. So Negan. Basically, he's been in old uh, Bloodsport so fashion, good. has his shoulder, throws sand in his face, and then hits him with a bell. Fucking awesome. It was good. <laughs> and then, you know, Daryl has a plan to use Carver's bait. It's mm -hmm. completely backfired. So, again, mm -hmm. so my second favorite part, again, loving Gabriel, uh -huh. was when Gabriel gets to go over the walkie talkie, yes. and he's like, ah, yeah. bitches, she's a, she's a guy in the, leg, the sniper. There's no Aaron up here. Was, <laughs> she's a guy in the leg. It was good. Like, mm -hmm. this episode was good. I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, so then, Quickly through, Maggie goes back to I think it's a church. Alden's dead. That mm -hmm. was a little depressing, but whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and but the best part then that they close. Oh well, Maggie completely <laughs> they, fucks they, things up for Daryl. They worked the deal out. They worked the deal out. Say okay, well Leah will because at least first didn't kill them all. Then then she had no. She, the sample on the roof was actually gave us. So they basically said okay, let us let us just see. We want we want the first deal back. I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah, you, I mean, even Wayne Brady won't do that shit on his show. You make a, you make a deal, and the deal is the deal, right? You, you, you get the window or the fucking box, and they, they got zonked. Like, okay, well, we're going to take the window now. Like, fuck you. I was just kidding. As they walk out, fucking Maggie grabs her fucking gun, uh. chases them down, shoots them both in the, one in the face, one in the shoulder, and then Leah gets out of the shoulder, too, and she takes off running. Maggie comes back, shoots fucking guy in the face, and they're all dead, and Daryl's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what, you what, what, what was that? Andy still lets Leah go. Like, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's kind of, oh, and then the so very last thing is Negan leaves. So yeah. exit Negan. Negan comes back and is basically like, he's like, as I, 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 she's burying Alden, he goes, he goes, you know what? Back there, like, I can't trust you. Always, always on my shoulder, which is fucking awesome. I keep telling people, you know, that, you know, what Negan did was nothing compared to what the group did to Negan. And after seeing that, Negan is so much further below the shit pile as fucking Maggie is. She has nothing over him at this point. Like, I mean, at True. least Negan hit them and killed them into their face and, and <laughs> tracked them down. She shot them in the back. Oh, like, the what back. the fuck? At yeah. this point, like, oh, you're, you're a way more bigger shit piece than I am. So Negan kind of took his eggs like, you know what, at this point, even his own friends, you know, Carol and, and, and Daryl for the years that he helped them out, they still turned their back when, when, when they saw fucking um, Maggie. So he's like, you know what, I got no friends here. I got no love here. Like, I'm just out. Yeah. So then uh, we can. So then that show ends with kind of Maggie looking over the wall at Hilltop, and what is it? Six months later, I think. The yeah, Commonwealth comes to, to Alexandria yeah. as the fire got put out. The zombies are dead. He's like, hey, it's kind of embarrassing. Here comes here. Eugene. <laughs> yeah, again, right? He remember he came with Negan beforehand the last time, and now he comes with these people. They're like, here we go, Eugene. Here's your shit show again. But um, basically, the Commonwealth goes, hey. We can we can just give you some supplies now, or you can come with us, or, or and or come with us. We'll show you what we have here. So almost everybody goes to the Commonwealth, as we see the six months later. Yeah, you have to check um, it out. yeah that they're literally everyone went. Only people let say that stayed at Alexandria, as it was in disarray. So we'll see what happens with that. We will. And now to um, we will next episode. We will. I know. And then this very next, well, we'll see most of what happens. With Cheers that. to good review. Oh. What am I drinking? Which one am I drinking? Oh Whatever my goodness, want. it's hurting. See for the extra view. Welcome everyone to Walking After Whiskey. I'm Shorty again. And I'm Travis. <laughs> we got it right this time. We're gonna break down your latest episode of The Walking Dead tonight. Uh, we're again gonna break down some um, loveliness that Travis picked. I'm just gonna say Travis picked this. He actually 
was on his hands and knees, probably almost licking the floor in order to pick this whiskey out. This is a shelf that Shorty can reach, so that's all I have to know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a Signature Select, which is basically um, your, in a your, bottle. your great value from Walmart. Um, Walmart. <laughs> Tennessee oh, the Street, great value Great brand. value, it's like the yeah, brand. signature brand. Um, Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey, so you, straight whiskey. And it's um, premium batch select, so I think the gold label gives me a little bit of credit here, a little bit, a little bit of kudos for the gold label here. Um, we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> and we're also gonna I'll do. I'll let you know. We're also gonna do <laughs> season eleven, episode ten, entitled. Oh, I don't know. Uh, haunt something. Old oh haunts. Oh my god, old haunts. I should have known. I should. I've been really trying to remember this one because. This is your episode. I know. That's <laughs> the. That's the thing. Like I was so excited. Actually, the first person that pops in mind is Aaron Hartman. By the way, I'm like, oh, Aaron Hartman probably loves this. Episode. This is a lot, but, right? it, but it really was. I'm like, I actually wrote the very first thing that I wrote down when I was taking notes was, oh my god, it's like that one episode that was the haunted house episode. Um, so I was super excited. Here's to the review. Oh God, we didn't even do the review. I've been not, I don't even <laughs> want to do the review. I'm trying to go to the episode. Cheers. Wait, so wait. Good. So good. Cheers. <sighs> How does it start out? It starts out bad. Well, it's so <laughs> it's good. Gonna, about it's to get worse. Bad. It is not good. It's a growing on me. A beer in that's actually growing on me. <laughs> No shit. I must not have. I haven't had whiskey for a while either. Me neither. I haven't. Mm. I didn't. I don't think I've had whiskey since our last show. No. Oh. Yeah. Why would I drink? It's whiskey? not by choice. Why would I drink whiskey unless I'm on this <laughs> she show? She does it by association, not by choice. I actually take that back. I probably had some sexton for sure because I do love the what sexton. What kind of ten? What? Huh? huh? Weird. Don't be dirty. Jesus. This is a, Cameraman this Paul. This is a children's show. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that comes market on YouTube. <laughs> this for adults? No. We want everyone to see it. <laughs> sure, let your children come in. Come on, kids. <laughs> come take a little gander on our show. Uncle Travis's jokes are a little too colorful mm. for kids. Ages 14 and up, you're okay. Oh, God, it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. I'm going to take a bath in it later. It's going to be delicious. <sighs> well, you have a whole bottle, so. <laughs> Okay, so what are we doing now? I already like fucked shit up. So what are we doing? So we started the episode, and, I'm not even drunk. and there's, there's basically um, we, we we see uh, Daryl walking with two kids through a very spooky hallway. Which at first I thought, oh, here comes another dream so sequence. Good. Makes sense. It's uh, Judith and um, Shown's son. If you forget his name, Shown Rick's kid, walking through uh, a, a, a scary house with with Daryl behind them, kind of like you know easing through them, and you see a zombie open the door. Very, you His know, cloudy come through. out. He's got this big old afro coming at them all walking. Good sounds. Any haunters out there will get this. Like, mm -hmm. you were waiting for, like, a drop window or something. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. something to fall from the ceiling type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, some animatronic noise to pop through. Uh, but it was, and then so they they get through the whole thing. Or the kids get too scared when the yeah. actual, like, a, get too close. like, some dude. I would like to know where they where they get the FX makeup, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's kind of on the nose too. Like, hey, how about we have like vampires and like werewolves in the zombie, zombie apocalypse? Let's not just use zombies because they already kind of kill everyone that we know. Like, let's let's do other kind of like maybe Frankenstein would be okay. Like, but no, they're right for the zombies. Like, okay. Fine. But it was very interesting that although like they, maybe there was like a couple jumps, they weren't scared because mm. why would you even like they probably don't know what a vampire is. Why don't you do that? Right. <laughs> how many people in the Commonwealth have ever seen walkers for real? Maybe they're not, they're not too far to town. I mean, I'm sure every, everyone has affected everybody. I think they've seen them, but... It's affected everybody. And who knows how long we yeah. like, these, this group just got there. They've spent... Judith's whole life has been around them. Right. You know, they, no one actually lived there. They actually keep finally finding other groups to come there. So then as we... So we find out it's a little haunted house. It's Halloween time. So I was, I was wondering, because I know they usually try to base the releases around Halloween time. Yes. So I'm like, maybe that was supposed to happen. It just didn't. But doing a Halloween thing in... March seems weird. So it's, it's the, like, the, the last episode they had was like around Halloween yeah, time. Exactly. So they just, they probably just missed this boat on the, um, with the, in the season. Should have been part of that, but they didn't wrap it up. Because this fast is enough. 30 days later. This yes. is 30 days, yeah. 30, sorry, there's was it six, over there. 
uh, 30 days later. So <laughs> hard to shoot focus. Um, was it six months afterwards or something? Six, no, this is before. No, that, that was in the end of the episode. It was supposed to be six months later when Maggie looking all haggard. Uh, all oh, right. No. So this one, though, was 30 days after. So the, there's a lot of people that actually left Maggie and went to check out Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Having a good time. My favorite thing was actually um, the I love the the kind of uh, Carol baking cookies. Yeah. You know, Ezekiel is at the petting zoo. Yeah. Like you know, it's kind of on the nose. Kind yeah, of sad. It's, 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 we see everyone's job. We see everybody's jobs now. Cute. We know Daryl. Daryl was here. They're 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 defenders. You know, they're, they're zombie hunters. Can I just say he looks so stupid as the stormtrooper costume. He looks so stupid. They all, it was I mean, disappointing. I was like. Mm. He's assimilated. He's seven of nine now. Um, so we see, uh, so um, Yuriko, what is she? She's a lawyer still, right? Yes. Um, and we see Princess sells records. Pretty cool job for her. And with um, a crown. Right, with a crown. Love which it. Is, which is pretty awesome. Love it. What jobs we see from anybody else? Um, uh, what's your bucket's a uh, server? Magna. It's what she was a server before, so that makes sense. Uh, well, it all, makes, sad. it all makes sense. But yeah, <gasps> it is really sad. Connie's a reporter. She, we yes. find out Connie was a famous reporter back in the day, which is pretty awesome. Very famous reporter, uh, we find out, which is really cool. Her sister's an interpreter. Like, yeah, I don't know. The whole thing was, it was cool, but it, like, I mean, Walking Dead has been all about society anyway. Like, yes. uh, you know, all of Lord of the Flies type of a thing. Mm -hmm. I think you talked about Citizen Kane. Like, yep. we talked about that a little bit. Um, we talk, I, I brought up that the governor, this whole thing is very much like Hunger Woodbury. Games. Woodbury, like, yeah, yeah, it's. So, I mean, we've always been about society anyway in this show. So this one, though, I don't know. I just like, it's so sappy and campy and you, you, you kind of think that they too call, clean. They call it old, the episode's <laughs> called Old Haunts, right? And old Haunts, like, you know, old places you like old bars used to go to, or old places you used to go hang out. And I think for me, this, this thing, uh, resonates because of Old Haunts being like, you know, Woodbury, you know, where they saw the governor and how this town had to be like a real picturesque town. Like it was, a, it was like, it was like Mulberry from Definitely, like, you know, from, yeah. from Mr. From Leave it to Beaver. There's like, multiple meanings behind the name for sure. Definitely. And it was very cool to see that, um, that the, their governor, um, this lady, I forget off, off the top of my head for some reason, because we've been drinking already. She's annoying. Um, she used to be the, well, she was the president's daughter at one time. And now she is the governor of this place. And we found out her son is the douchebag from last season, uh, Sebastian, who was there when, when Eugene was cleaning the place out. Remember that like, guy? Like, Sebastian do do doesn't know what he already had like a bad connotation, except for the crab in Little Mermaid. He's my favorite but character. And now I fucking hate the name now. It's like, oh, exactly, Sebastian's Exactly, exactly. That's under what I'm the saying. Sea. That's yes. what I'm saying. Sad. I know. Now Sebastian's a room for everywhere. And he's a total douchebag, too. This guy's way douchebaggery. So, <clears throat> uh, the most interesting part is Daryl trying to adapt in this world. He, he's the one that sticks out like a sore thumb for sure. Right. Um, I enjoyed the whole, like, he lost the challenge that Mercer gave them, the, the you know, partnership, whatever, challenge. Like, so he lost that. And just some weird things, though. Like, he lets douchebag Sebastian catch the guy that... Yeah, so, uh, so uh, at the masquerade bar, at the ball, or whatever it was, I don't know. Like, yeah, so, it's just so, weird. so Daryl is assimilating, right? And uh, I see it mostly when mm -hmm. you know he brings Judith to this place, right? And Judith loves this place. She actually got to see someone you go to a store. She actually got to she see someone. She has a friend. You, she has a friend. She has, someone got to use money to buy something. That's she had no idea the concept. Gracie. She has someone that was a concept of buying things. Like she's learning like how life used to be, like living in it, you know. And on, on, the, on the floor with her one day, you know, they have, they live in the, a ragtag apartment, you know, there's like curtains in the, in the oh, windows. Oh, it's, it's like the projects. Yeah, it's the projects. You know what I mean? And, and I, I think Daryl is striving to do better for Judith because he's, because of all the people she went with, Judith is, is, is last from Daryl. Like Uncle Daryl is who is going to be her dad forever, right? That's who she wants to be her dad, which who the fuck won't it, right? Um, I and would so, um, like that. Um, and there's so, uh, so he, he basically him on the floor eating dinner together and eating with a dog. And you just think, I Daryl has this huge struggle. You know, like, you know what? Like, like I, yeah, I want to be defiant, but I have to provide now. Like, you know, there's a place for me to provide for to earn for her. I have a little girl here that looks up to me and wants, and wants things. And she asks him, she goes, Daryl, could I, could I have an allowance? And he's like, you know, let me get some money first. Let me see what's going on and, and we'll work <laughs> on it. Let me make some money. Yeah. And, and seeing single dads, like I, like I was, like I am, you know, you, you, you have this, like your kids, kids want things and they want things to be like their friends. And so, you know, his, his, he, there's girls in town that can buy things and now he can't do things that they can do for their daughter. So as much as he hates the shit's going on, he's like, he's going to choke it down to be a better man for this kid he's raising for. 
And as we see working with Mercer, Mercer tells him, he's like, I want you to fucking excel. And he actually tells someone that he's going to be the future of our army. Like, Daryl can do everything. And so Daryl's like, you know what? I'm going to get this put straight. We're going to be better. We're going to do better. And he does better for her, which is fucking awesome. Well, not only just doing better for her, though, but he also wants away from Maggie. Like, he's wanted away from Maggie for a while. And this mm -hmm. is kind of a perfect out for him. Yep. So, um. After what she did, and after it turned the back, and that was against her plan. But he's, but that's been happening for a while. Yes, like there's Carol been too, tension. Remember? Yeah, there's been a lot of tension between Daryl and Maggie anyway. So, uh, uh, I guess, and Daryl and uh, Carol are magically friends again. So there's that. Yeah, I, I, I think he's <laughs> spin off. I the spin off's almost here. I think he doesn't trust her like to the to very far. You know, to, 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 I didn't get that. He, he trusts her to be Carol. Like it was all like fine and. Well, he was standing once somewhere and she stood by him. I mean, what's he going to do, like, walk away? I don't know. He, he told me, he's like, he's like, I don't trust you no more. Like, he basically doesn't have, like, his, his, he has a very short lease with her. Like, 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 I'm not going to put myself out there for you no more because they can't trust you. You're a fucking firework. Like, I'll just, I'll stay close with you, but I'm not going to trust you for shit or, or go off on your stuff anymore. So they have that kind of, like, understanding, I think. So the... I can usually find something that I really hate about episodes. <laughs> so this one that I hated, you actually brought up, was um, the fact that, uh, you know, Carol says, well, I'm observant. So mm -hmm. she observes, like, they're the governor's assistant. I don't know who that dude is. What is his name? Uh, with the, the slick pink suit wearing douchebag. What's his name? Lance. His name Lance. is Lance. All right. So um, he, like, he's trying to get wine for this, this ball that's going to happen. And so Carol's observing that. And so she goes all detective and finds mm. out that you know there's a winery or wine making place it's wine delivery or place yeah fine delivery that nobody else has ever found <laughs> like right. that's not obviously not that far away cuz mm. you said like to your point she came back in a day mm -hmm. with this great wine so and her whole point to that is Ezekiel's like not that he's in denial he's just not telling anybody how dire his needs yeah. are so her whole thing is to save try to get um, Ezekiel's uh, surgery moved up yes. so that he can live type of thing. There's a lot of, there's a lot that happened in the show. It was, so the pacing was, was kind of out of mark, but they, they had brought so much in. And sadly, you know, Ezekiel, you know, he's basically giving us, giving everything he has away right now because he has a thing on his neck and he knows, he doesn't know how bad it is, but he knows that he's so far down the line of surgery is that it ain't gonna matter anyway. He's like 146. So you know, he, he actually gives away Sheba's chain at one point, which at first, you know, it wasn't even big, it wasn't even a big like decision for him. But it was to Jerry's kids. And. And it was the sad part about it when, when after getting that, he donated uh, to Jerry's kids. Sorry. <laughs> we need more people to do that. Sorry. Um, uh, and so, so when you gave him, <laughs> I'm so gonna interrupt you one more time. He's gone. Jerry I know he has, away. Jerry I know has another, another fucking kid. He passed away. What? Jer oh, sorry. Jerry. Like, like, like from Jerry's kids. No, no. <laughs> Jerry has another baby. <laughs> well, come on now. I was like. Good God, dude. He's Polynesian. He's going to get down, for sure. Apparently. Um, and he gets, sorry, he gets, he gets, sorry, they all dressed up like, like tigers, which is kind of cool because, you know, Ezek, uh, Jerry was, was uh, Ezekiel's right-hand man forever. They all yeah. love for him, right? But one thing that was sad, though, when he, he talked about giving the, the, the collar to uh, his daughter to so make sure you remember her memory. Those kids weren't around that sheep when the tiger was there, but it's still it's just the, the sentiment for it. But then he goes, hey, you sure it's okay? He's like, yeah, it's just a chain. So his best friend's it collar just is just a chain. a chain. So he's no, like, these things are his pieces are gone. Well, that he, was like when he gave when he gave Carol Henry's box, like yes. it. But it, it, and he was pretty emotionless. He just wanted like Carol to have it. Sure. So it was her, well, it was her son. She raised him, you know, and she wanted to have it, and she yes. wouldn't have had it back then. She acted like it didn't even happen after she killed. Or after they killed. I do love that she stole a couple bottles of wine for herself, though. That of course she did. Good, good wine. They both did. It was really good that wine. But he also he also told her this could be a fresh start. And he didn't say a fresh start for us, but then she leaned into him and they got a little nestled with them. So maybe Carol was, will, will make it a fresh start for them too. You know? Well, so, but did that happen because Daryl's obviously still smitten with Connie now that Connie's back in the picture? Who knows? Like, well, I don't know. You know the, de the death I, of Henry I know that killed Carol though. cares about Ezekiel for sure. It's just kind of an interesting thing waiting in the background for this stupid spinoff to happen. Anyways, yeah. so the um, ball of sorts, I guess. Yeah, that's um, a, yeah for sure. Masquerade ball. Yeah, so the next thing that we're now supposed to kind of be in suspense about is if there's a bunch of people like, uh, I don't know his name, uh, ex-stormtrooper that got out. Taylor. Taylor. You're so Tyler. Good. You're so Tyler. 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 You're so good. Um, like, because he says, like, there's thousands of us as he, like, tries to talk to the governor mm -hmm. and, you know, whatever, Hunger Games, don't talk to me type of thing. Uh, so it's it and uh, 
jumping into that. So, I don't know. So, Daryl, like, I swear to God, I'm not drunk. There's just so much that happened weirdly in this episode. So, um, that guy holds, so he grabs, he just wants to talk to the governor, right. grabs the governor's assistant, you know, she, and then all of a sudden the governor cares. So it's like, it was so societal, right? Mm -hmm. um, he lets, ends up letting her go, and then Daryl lets douchebag son well so the, 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 the son walks in and that he had already had a conversation with the son earlier where the son was about to get eaten up by a zombie but daryl killed him before it could happen it was such, such weird that was it was such a cool mind fuck so they go out there mercer after daryl after daryl fucks up the um the right. the training the training thing they bring bags out there they're carrying their own bags of their weapons right they don't know what's in the we don't know what's in the bags they open the bags up and it's their own weapons from back before he's like is this a fucking joke he's like no man we just got we just wanted you to see these weapons these are your weapons you're used to very, very, very mind-fucking them, though, right? And so Sebastian almost dies. Uh, Daryl saves him. And we're just like, you shouldn't have done that. We prop ourselves up to win here. And Daryl's like, he wouldn't have got that. guy's going to fucking kill him. So after, after walking into the Sebastian Great Ball, he fixes Daryl's, like, uh, his, his, his neck, his neck or his, um, his bow tie or, or his collar. Yeah. And, and so he, he kind of puts Daryl, like, hey, now you know who I am. I'm, I'm the son of this shit. Like, you're, you're way beneath me. But Daryl's kind of like, you know, if I make this work for me and Judith, make it work for what we are. I gotta start fucking playing by the rules. And we're saying, play by the rules, you'll get far in here, and I want you to succeed. And so when he had him by the neck, they asked, at least you did something right. He's like, you know what? Take him to your mom. You be the hero. It gives me some leeway with you. You'll fucking get off my ass. We can be all friends and fucking you can look at a hero. He's like, thanks. And then he goes there and he, he watched him mess his own. It was so, so strategic. He always messed his own hair up. Like, like he did it himself and walked in. And Mercer was like, you fucking kidding. And then Daryl's like, like this. So Mercer's like, okay, like. Glad you're playing well, the Merce, game now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mercer told him to play the game. And mm. so this episode then, I actually started Mercer warm. I warmed up to Mercer for sure. Uh, mostly because he invited, guapo. he invited Cinderella basically into the ball. <laughs> so Mr. Guapo. Princess got invited oh, definitely into your the thing, ball. Right? So she's my, she is absolutely my jam. Um, it was just, it was an interesting look about what's going to happen. I always, how I left the show was thinking... Daryl's always thinking 20 steps ahead. Sure. So is he kind of playing? He's obviously playing the game for to better life for Judah, the kids, right. right? But is he also playing the game to figure out what's best for his original people? And so, like, I think you said with Maggie, I, I think he might be, might be done with a lot of them. Like, he looks around like everyone's having a great time. Everyone is similar. Everyone has jobs here. He's like, you know what? Fucking, I'm done going against the grain here. Like, I have, I have a good niche to what I'm doing. The guys like me here. He's, he's already let, like, Maggie's already gone, Rick's gone. Like, he's, everyone that he actually was, was that held hearted to are not there anymore. So, you know, at this point, it's like, I'm going to do my own thing. I, I think, I, I, I think Daryl's like, I'm going to do my own fucking thing, and this works good for me. Daryl as a stormtrooper does not make me happy. I'm just going to say that now. Yeah. It doesn't make me happy. It's, you know, but in, in, we, we've seen that in, la, in the last episode where he goes to, to be Maggie six months later. When she goes, that doesn't, be like, doesn't have to be like this, Daryl. And he goes, yes, it does. So Daryl really, like, 180 turns. Well, that's turns. what I'm saying. So was it a double cross somewhere? Like, so with the episodes in between, is it a double cross somewhere? I don't know. No, I, I think that, well, as you'll see, like, with, with the comic books, I think that Daryl well, is doing... you read the comic books, I do not. And I, I don't want to... Well, Daryl's not in them anyway. So I, 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 so <laughs> I, I think Daryl is going to do the best for himself. But also, you can, you can do the best for yourself and look out for your friends. I mean, you can, you can get good jobs and still make sure your friends can eat. You know what I mean? He, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he's looking out for his friends with, with an eagle eye, but definitely he's trying to improve his position in life, which is looking good for him now, which is great. Well, we know something bad's going to happen. So <laughs> <laughs> we know something well, good old piss and vinegar over here. It could be an amazing, amazing place for everybody. It's no, not. it's not going to be. <laughs> we all know this. Anyways. Oh, oh. good review. Yeah. No, this is... That's... <laughs> I need your COVID glass. Good review. <laughs> it's not COVID, it's herpes. <laughs> Sweet! With a little, with a little COVID. Well, <laughs> this little, little, will kill anything. What's with the lot? So. <laughs> with my hand sanitizer? This, Brown hand sanitizer? I'm just gonna. <laughs> ugh. If you just drink it, you can't bitch about it. I can. Well, because you won't I be, have no be problem drinking. bitch. It, it burns. Good review. Thank you, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to we'll our whiskey all, review. We'll be here all season. <laughs> that, was, that was some fine camera work. I know there was a cut in there, cameraman Paul. <laughs> oh, God. You got your work cut out for you, cameraman Paul. Pun. I love puns. So we're doing Signature Reserve. so funny. This is, <laughs> this is, this is the first Shitty. I've ever seen. This is awful. So this is, okay, we, our, us together, like, I mean, we've done, like, the last four episodes, or five, last four seasons of the show, right, at least. 
There's a that is uh, 48 whiskeys to, to uh, by, by my account. I should uh, we should cut in the picture of my bar with how many un <laughs> yeah, drinking bottles, bottles <laughs> of whiskey because I don't drink whiskey. Mm -hmm. And like I don't ever say in my life. Mm -hmm. I need a bottle of whiskey. Like, <laughs> let me just have a shot right now. This doesn't come out. This doesn't come that out. That has never happened. So I'm I gonna... had friends over, and they were actually like, "What is your problem?" <laughs> we, like, we like going to local bars, drinking whiskey there, but we've drank our whiskeys there. So literally, I was looking for a whiskey to get tonight, and I was like, "I've never seen this whiskey. What is this whiskey?" Um, Signature Reserve. So Safeway has a brand, their their home brand, Signature Reserve. It's like your great value Walmart brand. So, but if you go to like Kirkland Signature, like their 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 Crown Royal tastes great. You know, their their Grey Goose is their vodka. You know, they have amazing alcohol. So, well, this can't be horrible. It's got to be at least Jack. Um, and this this is this is basically a go turn of Jack Daniels, I believe. There's... If you're gonna buy Jack, I mean, and you want to save uh, four dollars, <laughs> <laughs> then you can get this. <laughs> So there's probably some Safeway Rewards coupon that you could get for. Yeah, so so you get gas rewards, or you can put this in your gas tank. It's kind of it's kind of because like this, you got an additional two dollars off. That's why you bought this. This, this shit is so cheaper than gas today. <laughs> it, so. was instant, it was an instant fucking coupon. That's why you bought this shit. It wasn't that bad. I, I actually so uh, 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 we we've done Good. we've done cherry fucking jack uh, cherry uh, goddamn wild, wild turkey here. And it was disgusting. Oh, oh my God. This is... A, there's not, a lot. It's there's, not many steps up, but it's definitely not that. There's a lot of bad whiskeys that you make me drink. <laughs> this is among them. Really? This is not... You think this is, like, good? I don't think it's one of the worst I've ever given you. I've given you some shit before, girl. <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've tried. <laughs> um, this, is, this, this, this is not great. I would definitely a great missing whiskey. It's like... it's. It's, it's your well whiskey. So basically, you get a Jack and Coke, you get this and Coke. You know, you have a good night drinking. It's still 80, 80 proof, which is nice. You know, it still gets you there. Um, and I say if I got it for $15.99. So I'm sure your Safeway is $15.99. The Albertsons, CVS, probably the same shit. What else do they do? Bunch of stores. In California, you're okay. Go, oh, Vons. Vons will have it. That's Southern California. They're all, it's all the same group. Whatever. It's That'll fine. be their signature Vons. Um, Reserve. So and it's gold label, so there's that. So I love your <laughs> I love your positive spin on life and everything yeah. in general. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is very much like um, a Jack Daniels for sure. I I have actually we had some other people kind of in agreement with that. Um, I would never buy this. I would never buy. It. Actually, actually, I would never go to a Safeway and be like, oh yeah, let me try that Safeway brand. I would never do that. Well, there we are. But to tell you the truth, though, Jack Daniels isn't a great whiskey either. I mean, that's it's, exactly what it's, I'm it's, saying. It's just there, you know. <laughs> Thank I mean, you, Travis. People drink you it. You proved my point. People drink it because a lot of country songs say to do it. But it's not a good whiskey. It's just always at the bar. and It's always cheap. That's why people drink it. It's not great. Now there is Paps. It's always at the bar too. A dollar a beer. Cool. Dollar beer. I have forty of them. <laughs> it's not great. So yeah, this is. You have forty of them, and you're gonna pee all night. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's a it's a colon cleanser. Um, this is and be bloated. This is actually it's it's not horrible. Except if you have fifteen bucks and you want to get some gas rewards, there you go. <laughs> look for the coup <laughs> look for the coupon. What's a coupon? <laughs> download the Who download the souf the sa the souffle. <laughs> that's my French. Sou souffle. The souffle. The souffle out. <laughs> Say something about not being drunk. Yeah, no, here we go. I'm so not drunk. It's just awful. I'm so rusty right now. But um, <laughs> yeah, download the Safeway app, and I'm sure you will actually get like a, an additional two dollars off. Um, I'm sure you will. As you probably should. I think if you buy six of them, it was like. Oh, you do. You get the additional like 15 percent discount if you do the six. So pack I got five. I got five more in my car. If you're in California <laughs> and you're a fan of the show, I'll give you a sticker and a bottle. Come, come meet me. It'll be like oh a weird it'll be a weird transaction. Please, anybody take Travis up on that offer. I would love that. If you're within 15 miles of Burning Canyon, I will meet you halfway. I'll go seven miles halfway. out. Halfway. It's a free bottle of whiskey. Hey, I can't go that far. And you got to be 21. So write us in the comments. You want a free bottle of whiskey of this stuff? It's five people. You can have <laughs> one each. <laughs> I'm scared for you now. Well, <laughs> hopefully it's all women. And we only have a half a dozen viewers. So basically, I'll probably at least have one still. <laughs> what do we have? So Aaron Hartman, come get your bottle. Amanda <laughs> Fife, come get your bottle. A Kath Kathy, come get your bottle. Yeah, right. someone's like, well, I actually have friends too. Probably. And high fives. We, we actually have some friends that way. Yeah, we're just joking. So. We, really, we love you all. Thanks for supporting. We're back. We're back, bitches. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like back. it or like it. <laughs> Poor cameraman Paul's got a lot of editing to do.
See you guys next week. Bye. Bye, y'all.